not be afraid. I'm not an enemy. Please, sheathe your stake. You have to trust me. If I wanted to kill you, I would have done so already, wouldn't I? Without getting your attention first. So, please. Thank you. I'm going to reveal myself now. Please, think twice before attacking me. I assure you I'm on your side. I'm sorry for magically concealing my form in that way, but I hope you understand now it is revealed why I felt I had to. I'm sure if I'd approached in corporeal form, you would have attacked me as soon as you laid eyes on me. And, perhaps, rightly so. Yes. I'm a vampire. No. Please don't. Keep your weapon sheathed. I promise you I mean no harm. I wish to help. Indeed. Why should you trust me? Well, for one, when I heard that there were vampire hunters like you in the area, I disabled my traps. They aren't for you. They're for other vampires. You might have noticed that your approach to this stronghold was easier than expected. Hmm. Secondly, as I say, if I wanted to, I could have killed you already. In fact, your approach was... Forgive me, but it was a little clumsy. A little over-eager, perhaps. Are you by any chance new to vampire hunting? An apprentice, struck out on their own, maybe. I don't see anybody else with you. Ah, you are. Well, I'm glad my intuition hasn't failed me. I did not mean to insult you, by the way. I'm glad of it. If your approach had been stealthier, you may not have stumbled into the area that I warded with an alarm. I am glad, though, that you did set it off. It gave me time to make myself incorporeal and approach you safely. That said, if I were a different vampire, one that meant you harm, it wouldn't have been so convenient for you. Bear that in mind in the future. Stealth is your friend when dealing with my kind. Hmm, a good question. Why am I telling you this? Well, there are no two ways about it. I am... a, a failed vampire hunter. I was bitten decades ago and transformed into this. But although my physical form has changed, my bloodlust raised, and although I can no longer stand direct sunlight, my loyalty has not faltered, not like the others. No. Many who are changed eschew society and choose to live among other vampires. For me, my loyalty remains with the hunters, despite being hunted myself. A cruel irony. Despite having unique insights into the mind of the vampire, with the potential to advance vampire hunting far beyond its current craft, I've never been welcomed back by other hunters. In fact, I've never been able to approach a group, or even individuals, without being driven away. No, I'm not able to defend myself. I fear that the moment I drew blood, my bloodlust would be uncontrollable. I've found this out the hard way. It is hard enough now, simply being close to you, seeing the blood pumping through your veins, the pinkness of your skin, a thirst for it. But as long as I do not see it directly or smell it, I can rein it in. It has taken many years of practice and seclusion to achieve this. Other vampires do not. Oh, it has been miserable. This is no life. But my resolve remains strong. I know my goal. I've been working tirelessly on achieving it. Why? My goal is the same as it always was. The eradication of vampire kind, of course. All vampires gone. That is what I want. Payback for what they did to me, and what they did to so many of my friends and comrades. What they still do. Hunters, just like you, who I grew up with, trained with, I'm not sure any of them remain. This realm is all but lost. The vampire numbers are overwhelming. Oh, you don't even know the half of it. As someone who is able to travel deep into vampire lands, the numbers I have heard other hunters estimate are off by orders of magnitude. There are more out there than you could imagine. Hunting them and killing them. It's not going to work. 
All it does is increase their bloodlust. It does not stop them reproducing, and it gives them an army of undead. Yes, by a powerful enough vampire mage, which thankfully are few, a deceased vampire can be raised, their corpse made undead a second time. I pray that you never see such a thing, if you have not already. I do have a better way, but I'm afraid that you won't believe me if I just tell you outright. Please, come with me. Let me show you my laboratory. It is in a safe location, unknown by others, vampire or hunter. You'll be safe, as I have been for decades. Why would I lie? Thank you. Follow me. Here. Safety. Warmth of a kind, I believe, though I barely feel it. Please sit. I know your journey through the forest before you found me was likely a difficult one. Can I offer you a drink? I... I don't have much, I'm afraid. I don't need it myself. Occasionally I try a little milk or honey to remember a taste of my humanity, but it doesn't stay down. Water, of course. Here. Yeah. It's clean. My purposes for it are alchemical, so I make certain that it is uncontaminated. If it weren't, working with it would be impossible. I assure you it isn't poisoned. I understand that you are still struggling to trust me. As a hunter, hatred and distrust of vampires is hammered into you until it becomes instinctual. But drink. You must be thirsty, and this would have been a very roundabout way of killing you, if that was my goal. Um, it is true that some vampires enjoy toying with their prey. Not me, though. I enjoy nothing about this life, except knowing that I may one day be able to end it. Yes, the thing that I said you wouldn't believe. Well, I fear you may still not believe it, but look around you. Clearly I'm working on something. This is not just a ruse. I'm not trying to entrap you. Well, for quite a while now, years, decades in fact, I've been working on a substance that can cure vampirism. Yes, cure it. Vampirism is a disease. It is not some life choice. We, afflicted by it, did not choose to be this way. At least, most of us did not. I know, I know. They tell you in training that it is impossible to cure vampirism. This is so that you will not hesitate to kill a comrade of yours if they are bitten. You will also have been told that vampires are undead. I said as much earlier, so common is this misconception. This is not based in truth. Vampirism is a disease, and vampires are not dead or undead. The truth is that nobody has ever tried to create a cure for vampirism. Not truly. There have been some vague, pathetic attempts. Nothing serious. Nothing that ever had any chance of working. The focus has always been on killing vampires, viewing them as other, worthy only of being treated like vermin. No, I, I understand why. I don't mean to insult you and your comrades in arms. Most, or virtually all, vampires are murderous beings. But I believe they are driven to be that way because they have no other choice. They fight for their own survival, then their bloodlust overwhelms them, and they are driven to unspeakable evil the sort of which they would never commit if they were in their right mind. So, a cure is what's needed. No more mindless violence. Every vampire was once a normal human, with a life, with aspirations, probably with a family. Killing them is helping nobody. Oh yes, I am close. It is not complete, but I am close. But I need your help. I wish I didn't. I've been working alone on this for decades, but my hand is forced. I wish to approach the League of Vampire Hunters. 
Tell them about my cure. Get it into their hands. Let them try it and prove to them that it works. And work with them to find a way of administering it to all vampires. I simply do not believe I could do this on my own and come out alive. I know where the League is headquartered. If I were to approach the HQ, I would likely be killed from afar before I even reached the door. Yes, I know you have ways of detecting vampires in a radius of the building. Remember, I was one of you, once. <laughs> it's true, I am an accomplished mage, unusual for a vampire. Typically, we rely on our charm and raw strength, not on magic. Possibly I could make myself invisible and imperceptible by the traps, work my way in like that. But even then, I would be surrounded by distrustful hunters. Forgive me for saying this in your presence. I do not wish to imply that you all are treacherous, but I fear that were I to reveal this knowledge in the midst of the League, I would be killed and the cure taken from me. I wish I could believe that were not true. Part of me does. I don't want to think that an organization that I previously allied myself with was proud to be a part of even is that hard to trust but I simply can't take the risk simply I do not want to die it might sound selfish but after all this all this work for this cure to not be able to benefit from it myself I, I could not stand it I must rid myself of this disease as well as every other vampire in the realm Please, please trust me. Stay with me while I finish working on this cure. It should only be a few more days. I need you to trust me so that you can vouch for me to the Hunter's League. You... you will. I'm... I'm shocked. I, I didn't expect you to agree. Thank you. Thank you. You've invigorated me more than I can say. You'll stay here tonight, then. Who knows? I may even have this finished by the morning. I'm afraid I have little to offer you to eat, but it uh, smells as though perhaps you have something in your pack anyway. Yes. Good. You can set up over there if you like. There's a room just off the main hall with a small bed. I think it should be comfortable enough for you. I have to say, it'll be nice to have some company. Even if we do not talk, that would be fine. It has been uh, a long time since I was in the company of someone who didn't want to kill me. That alone will be a great comfort and encouragement. Right. <laughs> I'll get back to work. You settle in, I... Ah. Oh. In my excitement, I forgot. <laughs> I hope you don't think this was my plan all along, but... I need something from you. <laughs> no, no. Not like that. You can shoot the weapon again, I, I promise you. It's nothing that will cause you harm. Well, one component of the cure for vampirism I'm developing is holy water. Normally, this would be lethal to a vampire in even a small amount if it is properly blessed. However, I have come to understand that the right prayer to the right god, with both a vampire like me and a human present, would imbue holy water with the key to curing vampirism, that is, vampire ingenuity and resilience, plus human compassion and empathy. Yes, I believe a prayer to Lathander, the god of birth and renewal, would imbue holy water with the essence that we need. Why? We must do so together, and we... This is difficult for me to say to someone I've just met. Even in life, I was not... But anyway, we must be closely bonded for this to work. The god Lathander will not take kindly to being used. He must see the hope and earnest desire in our hearts, both of us together, for this to work. I know because I have tried in the past. 
You recall I've been working on this for decades, and I... I'm afraid to admit that once before I tried, against my better judgment, to force a hunter to pray with me. Just pray, nothing more. Yet, Lathander smote me, and them, and my work. Sent me back years. I... I live in pain and regret from that, and have learned that only love can set us free, not manipulation. A lot of my time, aside from rebuilding my laboratory and regathering the materials needed, has been spent in penance to Lathander. I believe my relationship with the god may finally be repaired, and I am ready to try again, if you will try with me. You will. You really will. <sighs> I... I do not know why you are putting so much trust in me, but please know how grateful I am. We should... we should spend some time getting to know one another while I work, so that we are bonded, that is, for the ritual. Though, it will be nice to have someone to talk to. <sighs> it's been so long. But for now, yes, please rest. I can see that you are tired. You put your head down and I will get to work. I'll wake you in the morning. <clears throat> Good night.